How are we doing guys? Welcome to DT's Daily. Now on today's show we're going to be talking about last night's Champions League matches, final games of the group and the possibility of some very, very big sides dropping down to the Europa League. We're also going to take a quick look at the rearranged game between PSG and Istanbul. And the last piece of news involves Thomas Partey because he's come to the defence of Mikel Arteta by stating that he's building something good at the club. I represent my fucking self. How are we doing guys? Welcome to DT's Daily. That's right. So the first place we're going to start is last night's Champions League matches. Some very, very big games. Some very crucial games because some very big teams could possibly be dropping down into the Europa League. We've already seen Manchester United drop down into the Europa League. But looking at these fixtures last night, there was the possibility of Inter Milan, Real Madrid, Ajax, to name but a few who could well have been dropping down into the Europa League. One of those Ajax has dropped down into the Europa League. They lost at home to Atalanta. Um, a very, very eventful game. Ajax had to win. It wasn't made easy for them with a man sent off. And then Atlanta scored right near the end of the game. And they actually finished second in their group. So Ajax dropping down into the Europa League. And they're most definitely a team that you wouldn't want to face in the Europa League. Uh, Michelin, they drew 1-1 with Liverpool. But Liverpool already safely through um, in that respect. I don't think there was any issues or any problems in regards to that and what was going to be happening. I suppose Liverpool, it's more damage limitation with some of the injuries that they've had. They had the perfect start through Mo Salah in the first minute. Um, and then Michelin equalised 62nd minute through a penalty. Um, so they'll be you know, happy with that one there. In terms of the table itself, um, their course finished top. Liverpool did and they were in the same group as Atlanta and Ajax but Michelin I suppose that's just a bit of pride um, and another point on the board as they finished bottom of that group. Um, Bayern Munich 2-0 winners against Lokomotiv Moscow I don't really need to say any more than that. Um, now this is um, a big result this one. Inter Milan drawing 0-0 with Shakhtar Donetsk. Now, not only are Inter Milan out of the Champions League, they are not even in the Europa League. This result means that Inter Milan finished bottom of their group. They are out of Europe altogether, full stop. As an Arsenal fan, I'm very, very happy about that because that's a side... Again, that I would not like to have faced in the Europa League. Um, also in their group, of course, this was a very big game. Real Madrid against Mönchengladbach. And Real Madrid, the unthinkable possibility of them dropping down into the Europa League for the first time in their history. But they run out 2-0 winners. And um, watching that game and a bit of... Um, you know, a funny part at the end was the game had finished and the game between Inter Milan and Shakhtar Donetsk was still being played. Now, with that being a draw, it meant that Mönchengladbach would qualify for the next rounds of the Champions League. And they were all huddled around the TV screen watching the end of that game and then celebrating like mad when it had finished. Fair play to Mönchengladbach for getting through. When you look at that group, I suppose when it was drawn, everybody was saying Real Madrid, Inter Milan, they're going to qualify. Um, but yeah, Real Madrid, they scrape through by the skin of their teeth. And Inter Milan, they're not in Europe at all. Uh, Manchester City, very, very comfortable 3-0 winners against Marseille. They were already through anyway. Um, and Marseille, they've had a very, very poor campaign. Um, Porto won 2-0 against Olympiacos and Olympiacos dropped down into the Europa League. Ah, I'm having nightmares already thinking about the next rounds and we're going to end up getting Olympiacos, aren't we? 
Um, Red Bull Salzburg, they lost at home 2-0 to Atletico Madrid. And Atletico Madrid advance through and they do not drop down into the Europa League again. I'm very, very happy about that. Um, Red Bull Salzburg, they of course drop into the Europa League. And it's going to be very, very interesting now to see what happens um, with Dominic Sabosley and uh, whether he's going to be staying there or moving on. And could he possibly, you know, be on his way to Arsenal? I suppose we're going to find out very, very soon. Um, last game uh, was a game, of course, that should have been played on Tuesday night, but wasn't because of um, the incident with the fourth official and um, Paris Saint-Germain against Istanbul. And this was a very, very comfortable evening for PSG. 5-1 winners. Neymar with a hat-trick. Kylian Mbappe with a couple of goals. Um, and they actually finished top of their group. Um, and of course, their group was Manchester United's one. And we've already said that Manchester United have dropped down into the Europa League. So it's been a very, very eventful um, campaign some very very good matches in there and a week ago there was the possibility of some real real big sides dropping down into the Europa League and I suppose when you look at it and you say yeah Ajax dropping down that's actually not too bad um, given the fact that Inter Milan are out of Europe altogether um, the likes of Atletico Madrid um, the likes of Real Madrid they're all, you know, safely through to the next passage of the Champions League. So um, I don't think that's too bad, to be honest with you. Um, when you're looking at the sides, of course, Manchester United dropping down. Um, despite what you may think of them and the problems and whatever might be going on or who knows. Um, that's a tie that not many teams would want to face. And... Um, yeah, it'd be very, very interesting to see what happens um, when the Europa League commences after the next, you know, phase that we're in. But, of course, we still have to finish the groups because the final games are, of course, tonight. Arsenal at Dundalk. Group's already done and dusted. Finished five wins out of five. It's just go through the motion sort of thing. Maybe try and get a win and have something to smile about. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, that's it for the Champions League. And... Um, yeah, some very good games in there, like I was saying. So next piece of news involves Thomas Partey and he has taken to social media um, to back Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta. Um, and he has said that the manager is building something good with the players at the club. Um, of course, we all know the problems at the moment um, at the club and, you know, the defeats. And of course, Thomas Partey is injured and we don't know how long he's going to be out for. Um, Mikel Arteta has been speaking um, a lot the last couple of days. Of course, he's been doing press conferences for the Dundalk game. Um, one thing that he did mention as well about William Saliba um, and that he's ready to be start, you know, being in contention, should we say, for the first team and everything, which is really good news. Um, and also the possibility of him maybe going out on loan, but they're not too sure yet. I suppose they're going to weigh that up over the next couple of weeks and decide whether they're going to keep him here and give him opportunities um, into the team or whether they're going to send him on loan for, you know, four or five months, get him some first team football and then bring him back for, you know, next season, fully ready to try and cement a place in the team. So very interesting to see what happens there. But yeah, Thomas Partey was speaking, like I said, and... Um, he took to social media and he went onto his Instagram and he said that being part of the Arsenal family is something incredible for me. Since the day I arrived, I felt so supported. The coach has a great influence in my decision to join his team. Um, and even though we had some bad results, I know we are building something good together. I have had the bad luck to suffer an injury, but I hope I can play a part again um, and fight for this team. So very, very evident that, um, you know, he's coming to the defence of the manager who's very much under fire at the moment. And I think it's very evident that the players need to stand up and be counted, not saying Thomas Partey or anything else. But, you know, there's certain players that really do need to stand up and be counted. And we've seen Aubameyang, even Mustafi and 
other players come out this week and say things. And what I will say to that is that, you know, the best way to answer any critic and the best way to, you know, show that you really do mean what you say is by performing on the pitch. Um, if you really do back your manager and you really are going to fight for him and the fans and everything, you've got to go out on the pitch and do it. Now, I'm not looking at the Dundalk game as being the one where, you know, we can start to talk about, oh yeah, we've got a victory if we win the game, that is. Um, it's more looking ahead to the league games and Burnley, uh, for example, got to put a good performance in, got to pick up three points, got to start moving forward. And the players, there's no hiding place. And um, I've made my thoughts very, very clear as to, um, you know, my opinion on some of them. And it's time they stood up and be counted. And a lot of them will be out the door very soon. Um, most notably the ones that are not really playing, uh, you know, part in what's going on. But... Um, yeah, very, very big words from Thomas Partey. And um, he very much backs the manager and makes it very clear that it's because of Mikel Arteta as to one of the reasons why he joined Arsenal. And um, yeah, very, very big words. And um, it's good to see. And um, now the players have to back that talk on the pitch, like I was saying. So yeah. We'll wait and see what happens with the next league game. So there we go. That is it for today's DT's Daily. As usual, let me know in the comment section what you think about today's topics. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button, smash a like on this video, and I will see you a lot soon. I'm out of here.